I will be introducing my artist Renge Shimuru and her artwork of collages. I will give how her work explores the female body and the way women carry themselves due to the negativity around and how it's placed on the female body which creates a visual many cannot point out. In the article Wide Walls explained how Renge Shimuru is praised and one of the most used work African artists. She creates mixed media of animated movies, installations, paintings, and collages. As she creates her pieces, she focuses on the female body and with racism and general cultural tropes. She creates the female body figure to be dangerous yet beautiful with all the distortion and unshaped size of body. Renge Chimuru, born June 22, 1972, born in Nairobi, Kenya, who now lives in Brooklyn, New York, demolishes the female body, skin, and arranges the female features. Her art pieces are beautiful yet disturbing because she exaggerates on the female body features especially the skin. The skin is so distorted and she replaces the features with limbs of gears, wheels, and animal parts. As she creates her pieces, she feels that she sees herself within her art pieces the way she has to maneuver through society that is desired or despised on the body of a woman, Renge Chimuru. What makes her art pieces stand out even more is the fact that she interprets all the stereotypes and all the negativity and all judgments onto women into her art. And the way she does this is by giving you the visual, the visualizations of the judgments and stereotypes that's being placed on a woman. So therefore, she cuts out pieces from magazines and places it on a woman for the way we really want to look and meet up to the standards of society. And she also tries to incorporate the fact that if it's not society, it's men. So if it's not one, it's another. So if you look close up to her pieces, you see motorbikes, and heels. Sometimes they're both placed together. Just represents the fact that she tries to incorporate that women in workforce still get taken advantage of and ran over by men. So in an article by Isa Sahe talks about how the women body are being talked about. The fact that the women body are being depicted because women despise their own body and tend to bring down their feelings and wants to compare them from another female. But when the female comes to its parts, we know that can be dominant towards the wrong reasons. When she says that the body could be used for the wrong reason, is representing basically the motorbikes in some kind of way. Because even as motorbikes represent men, it's basically the definition of men having strength or capable to handle something. So when it's being placed on the female body, it's like it we're an other object for men. So that's why she places a lot of motorbikes onto the female body because to men, we're like another object to them. So she knows that since women are more of an object to men, she feels like most women do not get the respect that they should get. So, placing these motorbikes can mean two things on the female body. She states how it can mean the fact that men still run over women, but as well, she wants to show that, look, we still get mistaken advantage, but she still tries to give back that power that was once taken away, which is sexuality and the power that they once had. So her work is basically a poetic digression from the woman objectification to an actual female empowerment, 
which basically means the degrading of a female status. A lot of the times you can also take from her pieces women who are sad and hurt because they feel like they're never good enough for the men because men still yearn for something more than what they have. They go looking for a side piece. Uh, they know they're out there looking for something that they don't need but still get it. And majority of the time, females just don't understand that. With that being said, it just causes women to question themselves and look at themselves differently and, you know, think negative more about themselves, which just causes so much stress on their shoulder because bad enough it's coming from society but it's men and now it's yourself issue without it consuming me so i sort of had to come to the middle ground which is dealing with the idea of stereotype and the issues of how even the female body is constantly stereotyped and constantly turned into something that should behave and look and fit into specific things and shapes and and it's and it's so impossible because we're all different as women and then also the African becomes this other thing that's sort of constantly being made into something that is so simple. And we, that's when I really began to sort of play with this, this sort of optical pun making, visual trickery. Not because I'm trying to trick people, but also because I'm interested in how the eye can trick you and, and tell you things that are not really what's true. And so as I make things, I'm always really, really interested in how to make it fascinating and, and, uh, and difficult for myself. Women bodies are particularly vulnerable to the whims of changing movements, governments, and social norms. They're the sensitive charts that indicate how society feels about itself. It's also disturbing how women attack themselves in search of a perfect image and assage the imperfections that surround them. Rengeji Muru. Micro creatures on it are so disrespectful and primitive and still, in spite of how giving the earth has been and how the earth has created us, we're sort of always sort of assuming that we are in control of it. So I, I have now turned this planetary persona into a woman that is both a ship that really was interested in in evoking um, this, this sense of absolute loss and 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 loss of, of um, control but also sort of a the end of time in a weird way and and what and, 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 and not in a literal way um, what happens afterwards and which goes back to the topic of us trying to change ourselves. We try so hard to be somebody that we're not and to become this idealistic for society and certain people. And it just, it never turns out the way you think it should turn out because at the end of the day, judgments still occur and happen. Ringeichi also gives the fact that it's always women, women, women. It's always negative coming out towards women. And it's like, once we try to flip the script towards the men, you know, it's, it's, we're always in the wrong. And she just tries to put that in the sense of what are we doing so bad for us to be the main topic all the time. With Regeche Muru's inspiration, her work made me give what society expects for us, especially towards women. I try to interpret all the advertisements that we see today by using all the makeup, the injections, and how we should look for men or for ourselves to feel happy. From the way we look at stuff through society and how we take it in, we try so hard to be something and someone we're not just to have the acceptance from men and anyone around us. And no matter what, we still take in the judgments, and even at the end of the day, we still manage never to be happy. I use the hand to represent feminism. And by adding the motorbike is that no matter how we try to be this perfect woman for men, we still get ran over just like Regeji Budu stated.
close up to my face, our hands with needles to show the injections we want and crave to have of the idealistic body or facial features that we want. Me incorporating the horns gave me more of a sacrifice to what I see in today's society. So many women sacrifice their body, their work, etc. just to keep this visual or a perfect image for society. Placing the big lips and the eyes on my face just goes to show how when we watch the advertisements about makeup, we use the products for the wrong reasons or this is how we should look when we place that on our own body. And the skin represents all the disaster and pain and all we've done to ourselves and it just doesn't look right at the end of the day.